because we are at Sunday? Wingate. Did I say uh, Sunday? Oh, happy Saturday, you guys. I didn't mean to say Sunday. Today is Saturday and we're here to um, see the scrimmage game between Johnson C. Smith and Wingate. Amari School. Go dogs. Right now they have some tailgates going on. Some alumni are gonna be here. And I'm just excited because this is not like a visit. This is like our actual school. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to kind of start the vlog off. We, we left the house around seven this morning. It's about almost 12 now. Is that him? Huh? That's Ryan. You look like it. But anyways, um, yeah, I'm just proud to be here today. Look like they got canopies, they have food. Game don't start until one, but you know, babe, it's already on time. Always on time because if you're ahead of time, because if you're on time, you're late. That's his model. But we're here. to sit back in the car because it's windy and it's a little chilly outside but babe and amari went to go talk to the other team they just pulled up in the buses um i feel like it's kind of weird because this is a school that was really recruiting recruiting amari um pretty tough so you know how those coaches get mad when you finally decide what school you're gonna go to when it's not there so but I see them over there talking. It should be all good. But y'all, it's like 56 degrees. It's supposed to be like 67 today, period. So that's pretty cold for my bones. But I can't wait for Amari to get to school. Um, I'm gonna miss him and I do feel kind of sad that it's finally coming and it's very, very close. He reports to school August 8th. Um, but that boy's starting to get on my nerves. Like he's like, it's almost like having a grown man in the house that you still got to take care of. And he be wanting stuff. Like when we go to eat, he wants the highest thing on the menu. He wants the most expensive. He has a lot of requests. He has a lot of needs and wants. And I'm over it. <laughs> I've already tapped out. But I'm so excited for him and his journey. He's excited. We just met with um, his coach, Coach U, um, here at the, in his office. Um, that's like their football what they call it um oh god something house that's what they call it like the i forget what they call it anyways game starts he said right at one so we'll see i'm prepared for this code i got a little jacket that i'm gonna put over over this more like a um flannel jacket that i'm gonna wear You're welcome. 
Say again. This is a live Yeah, it is. Can you do it? Safe and sound, it is 10, 11. I'm tired, but I had to turn the camera on real quick so I can show you guys Babe's contraption system. This is funny. Look what he did. Babe is so funny. Can y'all see that? This man put the chair to the door and he put it on the back door too. Amari moved that one because he had to let love you out. But that is so funny. Babe, what did you call that when you left out? Your, your, uh, your chair? A little stalker right there. But you called it something. Called it. You said something. Uh, like, hold on. <laughs> I, forget, I forget what he called it. But you guys, it's been a long day. Uh, I want to say, do I want to show you guys? I will show you guys what I got from the Goodwill tomorrow because um, I'm tired. So, good night for now. See you guys later. It looks like they're all. That side don't look good. I don't know. They're kind of looking a little sad. They're looking a little sad. I don't know, but I do want some of these to go at my front door. And two for 20 is not a bad deal at all, but I don't know. Hi guys, happy Sunday. I don't know if, you wanna look at those? Let's see if they got better ones in here. Happy Sunday, you guys. We're at Lowe's. And we're just coming in. They wanted to see some grills. We've been to a couple um, package stores because they was bourbon hunting. And um, we decided to come here because he wanted to look at some grills that they have out. Oh, this is so cute. Look at this, y'all. like a egg egg chair but anyways I saw that they had the I think they're called ferns at the door so I was gonna get two but I don't know they all look a little a little weathered a little sad they don't look happy so people probably pick the good ones and I'm not sure if they'll if they'll come back to life once I get them oh baby look at this rug this is nice. I like the 
bit about her. This is a nice rug. I saw somebody on YouTube say that they use rugs for indoor. Um, you know, when they have small kids, it's easy to clean, you know. And I think that is a good idea because they do have nice rugs, indoor, outdoor rugs. So I do like that idea. Yeah. Like for my office or something. That's nice. Oh, yeah, that's nice. These here are right here. 98. I don't think I need that big. I don't know. Yeah. I'm sure this is 198. 198. But I like this one too. Yep, that's nice. It's 5 by 7. 98. They're nice, y'all. Yeah. You don't like the one we have? It's all right. Pretty and full. This is how the plant in my office used to look. She pretty sad right now. How much is this plant? I don't see a price on here. I don't know how much this is, but I love this one. It's so pretty. That, I didn't ever see these. Oh, you can put bottles in here. Thank you. You can take, you can put bottles in there. Babe has wanted a, a actual barrel to put in his bar. And they have like the half barrels, like you can put plants in. So he wants to set some of his bottles on there, like on the top. This is nice. I had these at the door for a little while and they died. I wonder how much these are. Home Depot had some good ones last year. They were like $19 a piece. So this is $70? A $170. Jack Daniels barrel. So do I want a whole barrel? They got some over here. Babe, look. These are all full. But they have a lot over here as well. Oh, no. You got a green thumb. I do, but like, what am I supposed to do? Don't need. I think I just leave them in what they they're in, and then water them. I just got to put something on the inside of the thing to kind of make them sit high. And hopefully, hopefully they they last. 
y'all. Look at my husband. What do you have on? I'm about to get my own. I'm about to get my own color girl. That's so funny. No, you can have this, but you want allocated bottles. That's the same price. Hi guys, we're back home. I don't know what I was talking to y'all about, but we were in uh, Lowe's and I was talking to y'all about something and it died, like my phone died. Um, so yeah, but I wanted to show you guys what I got from the Goodwill yesterday. Even today we went to the Goodwill here by my house. I don't know why I've been wanting to go in there because I think it's because I'm trying to find stuff for my office, but I haven't really been finding any good stuff. Well, I'll show you guys. So I got this little vase here and I think it's, it's so cute. And I only spent $4.99 on that. And that is that, it's so cute. Love the detail on the sides. Oh, I didn't see that face. I don't like that face. Mm -hmm. But it's really cute. The only thing is like, it has like a little crack here. So I gotta be very careful with it. I'm not sure who it's made by. It doesn't have anything on the bottom or inside, but I figured it would look nice in my office put some flowers in there i'm thinking like some hydrangeas or something like that also got i got some books here and these are gonna go inside of my um bookshelf in there and when i'm picking out the books i try like to pay attention to what it say because i don't want nothing crazy or you know something that I just don't want in my house so I try to look at that and now the camera died but like I was saying I also look at the book covers um, the outside that's what I'm mainly looking for so I got seven of them they were $1.39 for the hardbacks and then they have books that were 99 cents for paperback books um, so I got like the colors that kind of matches the you know the aesthetic in my office or my color scheme and i'm gonna just put these on the shelf but of course i'm gonna take the covers off this is a great way to get like table books books for like your uh shelves or bookshelves things like that um console tables these are perfect you know when you're looking for nice books to stack and they're affordable like you can go and buy a bunch of books versus going to like um the stores and buying them like those actual um table books or house books and spending like thirty dollars hundred dollars seventy nine dollars on those try like the goodwill and get those and um they work very well so i was i was really ha happy to find these and i feel like i got some good ones with like some good colors you know really excited about that cute right And then I'm just going to spray them down with like some Clorox spray. To sanitize them. So when you put them on the shelf. You can have your books facing like this way or. I see a lot of people styling their shelves with the books like this as well. So you get to pick and decide. And here's the Clorox spray that I'm going to use to just kind of get rid of the germs.
And then it's here. Oh my God, I thought, I knew for sure she was gonna tell me it was like $20 because it didn't have like a price on it and we had to ask her, um, the lady at the register who was not nice, um, how much, and they were like, just $4.99. So I was like, got it, that's coming home with me. So I'm gonna just wash that off. But I'm gonna use Dawn Car Wash. This is like the my favorite. because I'm gonna go outside. I did um, get my little ferns to go on the porch and they fit perfect in the two little um, the pots that I have by my door. They fit perfect there, but I just have to cut the stuff off of them, that little hanger piece, and also, um, you know, wet them so they can have some water, but I'm not gonna take them off the pot. I'm just gonna leave them in the soil that came um, with it because I'm, I do not have a green thumb and um i don't want to mess nothing up so i just i'll just leave it there but you guys i know i showed you guys that flower that was at lowe's today and this is what that one used to look like when i first bought it so this is kind of like an example of i don't have a green thumb but literally it's like i don't know don't know what to do um she used to be so pretty and full and <laughs> sit and used to sit right here by the window. I don't know how long she's gonna be with us because she looks like she's struggling. So this is my little area that I've been working on. So I did add those things up there. Um, and I'm not done because I still wanna add my other two grandbabies on the side. But I got a layer up there. I got the picture of baby and I the kids and then I just put my old bottles um, of, of um, perfume. These little tassels here, I added some on the beads and just to kind of have everything match a little bit. But this, this little storage area I have to really do over. None of this stuff is staying here. This is just where I have things for the moment until I'm able to figure out what I'm gonna put in here to make everything come together. Um, I think I showed you guys the little bar stool that I got from the Goodwill the other day. It was $5. I went in there today and did not see the other one, so somebody grabbed it. I would, I mean, I'm not surprised. But I just put, you know, that on there. And then I moved my chair over here. But, and this mirror over here, which I will probably take out this mirror as well because I'm gonna have the circle mirror on this wall. And um, yeah, so that's what I did so far. I think I'm gonna put my vase that I just got from the Google I just showed you guys either on here or even maybe right there. Um, I don't know. Or it could even go on the console table when I get that. I don't know. But so far, I'm kind of liking like the vibe that's going on in here, like the color scheme so far. Like that's what I'm looking for at this point. I just love the vintage um, Parisian home decor style. For some reason, I'm like in love with that. But um, I am over all the the colors, like definitely out of 
out of that era. My office really do have a long way to go. Like I haven't touched anything really. But those two pictures that I got from TJ Maxx, I would like to hang them up. I'm not sure where. I don't know if it should go like one here, one there, or one over there, one over there, or two here like that. I don't know. I don't know. So that kind of looks cute in there. Still gotta add some things, but so far, gotta play around with it. Move things around. Let's see. Not sure what to do with this one here. That's the one I painted. I got that one from um, Hobby Lobby and I painted it to match because it was like a blue. This thing is so cute. Love it. Nope. It looks so cute. I'm not sure if I want it here. Or if I actually want it in the middle. Probably on the side. So cute. Baby's gonna hang my pictures for me. We're gonna go with one on the side and one on the side there. 